It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster Wordsworth. Jelly and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical musical story maker with stories at my fingertips. Oh, hello. The children were reading about dragons today, and they made it a big, big dragon, but it isn't here at the moment. But this is where it lives. It's a sort of cave. And can you see all the sparkly treasure it's collected? Dragons like treasure. Roar! Roar! Oh, I think I can hear it roaring. Come on, let's go and find it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at its long tail. <laughs> and and it's got a big body. And look, it's got wings. <laughs> but you have to watch out for this bit. It's a bit roary. Um, can I come out now, Jelly? It's a bit hot and squashy in there. Oh. Che Coole! Oh, Webster! Che Che Coole! Yes. Quick, Jackson, let's let's surprise him. Oh, well, mm. you be the dragon now, Jelly. It's your oh. turn. I'm going to look for Webster. Okay. Oh, well, that's funny. There's no sign of my furry friends anywhere. Uh, oh, and oh, what's this? Beware of the. Dragon. Oh, but I don't see a dragon. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Webster. Hello? I I'm sorry, but we can't make any stories tonight. There's a dragon oh. in the library, oh. and it's guarding the story machine, and it won't let us make any stories. Oh, a dragon? Really? Yes. By the story machine? Yes. Oh, I must see this. Oh. Oh, it really is a dragon. Yes. Oh, let's give it a surprise. Okay. One, two, three. Boo! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness me. It's a story-making dragon. That roar went into the story machine. Uh, it's mm. only me, Webster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jelly Jewel. Oh, thank goodness it's only you. Yeah. But quick. Let's make a story. Now we need lots of help from you. Will you help us? Hmm? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Make a story. Oh, it's a blue cow story. <laughs> and it's called Blue Cow and the Dragon. <laughs> In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow looked up towards the fiery sun shining in the sky. I wonder what it's like to meet an animal that breathes fire. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where fire-breathing animals live, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for medieval times.
And then they arrived. Blue Cow was standing in front of a castle. The drawbridge to the castle opened and a knight in shining armour rode out on a big brown horse. He carried a large sword. Excuse me, old chap, uh, you're not a dragon, are you? Asked the knight. Eh, no, I'm Blue Cow. Ah, pity. I must fight a dragon before tea time. Fancy tagging along, it could be rather exciting. Ooh, I'd love to, said Blue Cow. The knight gave her some armour and she followed him into the forest. After walking for hours, they eventually found a rather strange-looking creature. It was quite small and covered in lots of spikes. Excellent. Must be a dragon, said the knight, and got off his horse. Time for a jolly good fight, I think. Oh, please don't hurt me, squeaked the dragon. I'm only a baby. The baby dragon <coughs> desperately tried to breathe <coughs> fire at the knight, but he was too <coughs> little. Only smoke came out of his <coughs> nostrils. You can't fight a baby dragon. That's just cruel, said Blue Cow. Uh, you're right, of course. Uh, let's get back to the castle. They turned and froze. Behind them stood another dragon, but this one was absolutely huge. Mummy, you're home! Squeaked the baby. Now that's more like it. Uh, fancy a fight, big girl? The dragon Whoa. roared and flames flew out of her nose towards them. Blue Cow and the horse jumped out of the way just in time, but the knight was too slow and got rather frazzled. The mummy dragon picked up the baby by the scruff of the neck and walked off into the forest. I've had enough of this, grumbled the knight. I'm going to take up gardening. It's much less dangerous. Mmm, well, that'll teach you to go picking fights with fire-breathing dragons, said Blue Cow. Never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to medieval times and I met a fire-breathing dragon. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a dragon. But we know there is, don't we? Oh, that was a lovely story, wasn't it, Webster? Mm, the mummy dragon scared the knight. Mm. She frazzled him with her fiery breath. Yes. Oh, look, it's me. I'm Jackson the Brave. Oh. Come to do battle with the fiery dragon. Mm. I'm not a fiery dragon, Jackson. Oh. Mm, but it could be a lovely lady. Oh, well, there are some clothes in the dressing up box you could use. Come on, let's go and make... A dressing up story. Mm. Ah, I have just the story. This is the story of a brave knight, a lovely lady, and a fiery dragon. Once a brave knight called Jackson met a beautiful damsel called Jenny. The damsel was sad because a naughty dragon had stolen all her jewels. I'm sad because a naughty dragon has stolen all my jewels. Oh, don't worry, fair maiden. I will get them back for you. One night, when the dragon was out hunting, he crept into his dragony lair. <laughs> the lair was full of jewels, necklaces, rings, bracelets and tiaras. There was even a golden egg. The knight picked up the golden egg, but suddenly the dragon returned. Oh, look, a lovely golden egg. Mm. Oh, oh. Ah, help! Help! It's a dragon! The damsel heard the knight and came to his rescue and sang the dragon a beautiful lullaby. Dragons need their beauty sleep, so close your eyes and don't you peep. The dragon fell fast asleep, and the knight grabbed the jewels and made his escape without being frazzled or gobbled. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I like that dressing up game. Yes, and I like this golden egg. I think it will make a good story, Jelly. 
Oh, yes. Good idea. <laughs> In you go, Egg, but don't crack. <laughs> and now for the magic ingredient, imagination. Are you ready? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Here it comes. I wonder what it's going to be. Ah, it's a super baby story. And it's called What's in the Egg? She's happy to fly. She's brave and she's true and she's a pretty super baby. Super baby is in a marshy place. She can hear crickets singing. Cricket singing. She can hear. Frogs croaking. And what's this amongst the long grass? It's an egg. Egg. But what could be inside it? Oh. Dragon. Is there a baby dragon with papery wings and fiery breath inside the egg? Is there a baby dinosaur with gnashing teeth and stomping feet inside the egg? Lizzy. Or perhaps there's a slithery, wriggly baby lizard inside the egg. Hmm, whatever could it be? Let's wait for it to hatch, and then we'll see. Dum -de dum -de dum -de dum Oh, uh, but, but hold on. There's a problem. The egg won't hatch unless it's warm. Super Baby, can you help? She's super, she's duper, she really is a trooper. Super Baby! She gives her blanket a shake. And... The egg is wrapped up in a blankety nest. Nest? The blanket glows. And listen, what's that? Can you hear a tap, tap, crack? And a cheep, cheep, cheeping? It's a little duckling. Baby duck. And here's its mum. Says the duckling to its mum. Says the mummy duck back. Which means I'm very pleased to see you in duck language. The mummy duckling is so happy, she wants to give Super Baby a huge hug. Which is nice, because a hug is just the thing that Super Baby likes. Hugs are squeezy, hugs are nice. They're just what Super Baby likes. Hooray for Super Baby! She's triumphed again. Wasn't it? Mm. Super baby kept the egg warm in her blanket and then a little baby duckling broke out. Mm. <laughs> this little dragon looks like a baby, doesn't it, Webster? Mm. Look, it hasn't even grown any wings yet. Ah, that's because mm. it's a Chinese dragon, Jackson. Oh. Now, Chinese dragons don't have wings, but they can still fly. Oh. Now, when the Chinese celebrate their New Year, yes. giant dragons and lions dance through the streets oh. and people feed them with lettuce and give out little red envelopes like this one. But, Webster, mm. why do they give out little red envelopes? Ah, well, it's supposed mm. to bring good luck. Oh. Uh, you know what, Jackson? What? I think your dancey dragon would make a very good story. Um, 
Well, well, all right, Jelly, as long as it can dance all the way to the story machine. Oh, mm. yes, yes, it can, because it's a very dancey dragon, isn't it? Yes, Jelly. Mm. Come yes. on, little dragon. Come on, dancey, dance dancey, away. Dancey, 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 dancey. Oh, in you go, little dragon. And now we need just a sprinkle of the magic ingredient. Are you ready? Hmm. Imagine! Imagine! Imagine a story! Oh, what's it going to be? I don't know! <laughs> it's a playbook! And it's called Dancing Dragons! Kong Hoi Fat Choi. That's how you say Happy New Year if you are Chinese. Large crowds gather in the streets to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Everywhere you can see the color red. Some Chinese people believe that red is a lucky color. People march in the streets playing drums and gongs. Oh, it can be very noisy. But the most exciting things to see are the dancing dragons. They're so big and colorful. There's also the dancing lions dancing amongst the crowds. Some Chinese people believe that the dragons and lions chase away bad luck and bring in good luck for the new year. They all look so amazing! Everyone has such a good time! Gang Hoi Fat Choi! Uh, there were lots of drums in that story. Yes, and did you see the dancing dragons? Mm. I'm a dancing dragon too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but now, my little friends, we will have to end our adventures with dragons. Oh. Because, look, mm. it's almost morning. Mm. We'd better hide. Yes, the children will be here soon. Yes. Mm. Yes, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh, we've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story Goodbye for now. <laughs> Come back and see us soon. Goodbye, story maker. Thanks for helping. <laughs> 